What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dennis here, and I'm bringing you a Everwing video. My last Everwing video was when I got Jade, which I was really happy to get. And uh, I was super happy about that. Oh, low battery. And I was able to use her and test her out, and even now, Jade is still pretty strong when it comes to raids, but I'm not talking about fairies today. We're talking about sidekicks. And here are the sidekicks I am currently using. I'm using yeah, Vethior. Legendaries are really hard to come by, so I don't really have that much Zodiac bonus. So this does 83 damage. I think it's per bullet, because 83 seems kind of low. And it's homing. And the reason why I like this is because when you're doing raids, especially in this current event where you have to dodge everything that spike throws or some really hard level bosses, it's really annoying to try to get the bullets to hit straight or if your sidekicks are shooting straight and they totally miss the enemies so you're losing DPS. So I really like having seeking bullets. And my other dragon I like to use is not even level 3 yet because even just getting a single legendary of this guy, it's really hard. But this one is amazing. He also has homing bullets, but he does 50% damage to bosses. Which of course, you want to have damage. And of course it does homing. And sometimes homing can be a little pain in the butt when they have little minions that come around. But for the most part, they'll attack, attack the boss. And what I've noticed is having minions on the map once you get a couple of clovers, they melt really quite quick, and in my experience, they drop clovers and mushrooms. So it's kind of like a snowball effect. The more minions you kill, the more upgrades, and you do even more damage to the boss. But those are my two main raiding sidekicks, right here, and they're both homing. When it comes to a story mode, that's a different story. I still would use one of these two for homing to do damage because you need to do damage to the bosses over time because the bosses do get really hard during quests but you also need to have a utility dragon and for me that utility dragon is no other than where is he this guy right here Kokista I think that's what it's pronounced um, you see here 60% more bomb bats and 25% more treasure chests this is really awesome because while you're doing damage, if you hit a bomb bat like in later on the quest when you're hitting like 3,000 and 4,000, those minion waves come really fast. And having bomb bats is really, really useful. A lot of the time you destroy the bomb bats before you even know. And this causes a chain reaction where it could drop a flower, a rush flower, or a mushroom or just anything that helps you continue on your quest to, your, to get your high score. So that's the reason why I use him. I used to use... Where is my boy? Um, this guy right here. Hold long. But it was it's really hard to gain any sort of... Any sort of damage kind of thing and increasing both duration and chance of items is really good yes it is so you maybe you could use him plus the other guy the coke star to get more bomb bats but and more increased duration time but what I noticed is although you have increased chance of items if you can't kill the waves fast enough they start to catch up with you so I'd rather have 60% bomb mats and 25% more chests because those gems at the end, when you get really high in your run and you're on 3,000, 4,000, those gems are worth a lot. And if you can get a couple of chests from bomb mats, you, your score like starts to multiply really, really fast and add up really quick. That's from my personal standpoint. So here's my setup. This is what I usually do. It used to be this. But now, what I've noticed, and I really 
like is him. And the thing is, you don't exactly need him. There are other dragons that have the similar effects. And you can see right here. Increase both duration and chance of time by 40, which is the same as the uh, Shao Long one. So hit this guy right here, and this guy right here have the same one. So if you're lucky enough to get any one of those, and I think Kogastar and somebody else has the same one. I'm not sure. Oh, that's ice. Slows enemies. I don't really need slows enemies. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, those are the setups that I use for my questing. And of course, for questing, you'll want to use... I use Lenore because, of course, two lives are better than one. But some really skilled players like to use Aurora because you have, you're a permanent magnet. And they just collect all the coins from the beginning. So they get to higher score faster at the beginning, but you only get one life, which is kind of scary. So for now I'm using Jade because I'm helping out friends trying to get, trying to unlock her also uh, in the spike challenges. And I'll just quickly go over the random level 30s that I have. Uh, freezes air, slows enemies, not really needed. This is one of my mains, of course. I went over that with the homing. I'm working on this guy. Fires, heat seekings, but that's basically it. There's no special perk, it's only a rare. I'm just trying to collect my uh, Pokedex of Dragons. This guy is leveling up. This guy needs to level up a little more. Slows, cost Frosty Aura, eh. increased duration of item effects. Of course, the other dragon does 40% plus item chance, so that obviously those ones are better. This Mondes enchants Dragon Breath. Uh, charming is kind of weird, they go slower, which kind of messes you up a little bit because they start stacking up. This guy right here, three bullets and a three type pattern. This is cool, but I wish it was like homing because you lose a lot of DPS when it triples sideways, like in three different directions. We have this guy, another sprite pattern, which once I said, Again, doesn't really work for me. Um, Silvar is decent. Silvar does 50% damage to bosses and unique monsters. It does what Lorelei does, but the difference is he shoots in a straight line. I was able to get, I think, him kind of Zodiac, but I tried, I think I used two of him before. And you need to actually hit all your bullets onto the boss in order for, work, for it to work. And in a raid, it's kind of hard, you're dodging a lot. There's not very many moments where you're standing still. This guy, Dark Frost, does a Frosty Chill, which is from Riblets. I'm working on Umbra's evolution. You get double the gems. I tried to do double the gems in a few runs, and it's fun. Because if you have him, if you have double the gems plus the more spawn rate of chests, there are times where you do stack up a lot of score but it's not really consistent enough for my taste. Eclipse, fires, heat, monster seeking bullets, guaranteed to hit. I want one with bonus. Of course you we went over a cookie star. It was amazing. This guy is a two-headed attack. It's only a rare so he's just there for Pokedex, uh, Pokedex Dragon Dex. Trying to collect them all. This guy, Sage, has the same effect as the the Zhang Long Dragon, so he, he's pretty awesome. This is just a simple rare, increase your chance to find treasure chests. Uh, that's his lower version. This guy right here charms three times the amount. Once again, charming just slows down the enemy, which is kind of clusters everything. Now, this guy right here, you can only get him, I think, in this month, and uses it to do more damage to Spike, and this is a pretty amazing 50% to the bosses and 75% to Spike. So he's like the MVP when you want to face Spike. Maybe one of him and then one of something else. Or if you have somehow, if you were lucky enough to get two Mag Animus, I think that's what their level is called. You can use them both against Spike and do 
ungodly amount of damage. But I, I have, I was able to pull a few, so I'm just waiting for this one and this one. Oh, I can evolve it. Let's evolve that. Zodiac bonus also, which is nice. And boom. Now I just gotta level up that guy and use this guy as my base and feed him this. And I'll get like a 20% boost, I think. You get a 60% boost if you use all the same Zodiac or three out of the four Zodiac, which I don't think I'll be able to get, so I can't be picky. Once again, we have slows enemies, more chests. That's okay. But slowing enemies in this game is not really that good. Heightened sense of slow time. I was confused by this guy, but I looked it up, and it slows the speed of which the minion comes down. You might not notice that at first, but some people I've seen on YouTube have timed it, and yes, it does slow it down. I showed this guy here, and this is one of his other, I'm just waiting for another guy to evolve him. This guy does double gems. Two-headed dude. Oh, I have a bunch of him. I gotta level that up a little bit. This is just a simple rare. Attacks poison, causing 500% damage over two seconds. And I think that works pretty well against some of the bosses. I use them a little bit, but I'd rather have an effect where you get some either chests or longer item duration and whatnot. We have the Andros, which is all about, because it's like a horse type dragon. I don't even think it's a dragon, to be honest. It's a horse that produces more rush flowers. You have Minyara, which it does 50% damage the bonus to bosses, which is fun. But okay, once again, the spread shot, you want to get all your hits off on the boss. Magmek, I just got this guy, I think, to level 2, and I got 2 more, so I'm able to probably level him up to his 3rd evolution. Double Fire Breathing Demolition, 60% more bomb with bats. I haven't really practiced too much with this guy, because I only recently got him more. So I think the 60% more bomb bats would be really good during quests. And the Double Fire, I know it's not homing. I don't know, I have to test him out. We'll see how it goes. And Furnace, just a simple rare guy, increase your chance to find Bombats. It's kind of unfair with rare dragons, because legendaries are basically two effects in one. You get two good traits. You have Meridon, who's a legendary, fires monster-seeking bullets, who also has homing bullets, but I think it's mostly for monsters. And we want homing that does twice the damage. And this is just a lower version of it. So this is homing, but has two shots, which is pretty awesome. And this is homing, but it does 50% damage. And those are my two raid dragons that I'm using right now. Um, once I get that spike to level 30, I'll use spike, I mean spike, magnumus just for spike, obviously. And hopefully I can pull another lower leg so I can have lower leg maxed out at evolution three. And for me, if, you ever, if you're in a group and you get a bonus, try not to waste it. Once you get that bonus, I think I've got up to like, I think, I'm sure people have gotten more. For me, I've only got up to like, I think 30 or 40%. And I usually pull this right here. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't get lucky. And I used to use...